Hello YouTube, welcome back to my channel. My name is Neo. I am in this video partnering with Madame Glam to do a really pretty pink, sparkly kind of winter simple set. Um, so stay tuned for that. So I was lucky enough to be able to choose the colors that I wanted in this collab and I chose six colors in the berry pink kind of frosty kind of family. Um, I have been doing other holiday nail sets, definitely check that out. Um, but I was feeling pink so I went through the site and tried to choose different types of colors. The first one you saw was Fantasy. It was like a, one it was a mini which I saw that was new with Madame Glam which I think is really really cool if you're someone who needs to save on space or you just don't need so much of different types of colors. Consider the minis because they're fabulous. Um, a deep berry kind of color. We had um, that kind of frosty blue, violety kind of color. We've got this gorgeous, gorgeous holo. Um, holographic shimmery pink. We had that neon hot pink, which I love. I love a hot pink. I've got that's that gorgeous holo. Um, all the names are listed down below. I got a sheer kind of brownie pink base because I knew I wanted to do a base of a nail and use Madame Glam for it. Oh, gorgeous sheer. Love that. And then the last one is that chunky glitter that Madame Glam is so good for with Love at Frost Sight, deep purpley. So these are the colors that I chose because I was just kind of like, mm, I'm in the feels. But yes, to get started, my nails are already prepped. I already did my backfill in terms of um, resetting my nails. These are Gel X kind of dupes. They are from Alchem and they are the clear XXL square. They are cut down significantly and I've had them for a few sets. This is the same set that I did with my gingerbread set and the blue snowflake set. So I just keep refilling and shaping as necessary. So to get started for this design, which is super pretty and pink. I'm going in with the bloom color from Madame Glam and like I mentioned it is a sheer kind of brownie pink which I love and I love that it's sheer because it it gives that kind of wintry frosty look which I think is cool. If it was opaque it'd be like a little bit too on um, so I really really love this. I'm going in with two coats and as you can see it is sheer and pretty ballerina kind of pink. I love that. Um, a few coats of this would be gorgeous and I wonder what this would even look like with um, chrome on top. I've been seeing a lot of people do like the glaze nail so this would be a really really good base to um, do that with. In terms of the Madame Glam polishes, few things to know. I do have a 30% code um, coupon code for you that is linked in the description and you can either go to the website on your own and input that code or if you click the link directly in the in the description box, um, it will take you straight to the website and the link will automatically be applied for you. And if you don't wanna be a VIP member, you can always choose to pay as you go, but definitely give these colors a chance, especially this base color, it's just gorgeous. Check out their nudes. I think they do have a nude category on the Madame Glam website, which I also think is great for navigating, but gosh, I love a sheer kind of nude that just does it. I just think a clear kind of nudie nail is just like super glam and luxe and pretty. Um, I think I've done that on my, my channel, but it was more with acrylic. I'll link that in the cards too, so you can see what I'm talking about in terms of it being like sheer, but sophisticated, but glam at the same time. That's the vibe that I was getting. So I'm going in with two coats of this base coat bloom from Madame Glam. And as you can see, the color is picking up, but it's still sheer and just soft and pink. We love that. We want that for this set. It's a hush kind of pink, wintry, frosty set. I'm making sure to clean my sidewalls. Um, and cure for a minute in between coats. Once that base coat is down, I am going to be swatching all of these colors, um, all the other remaining five colors on my little palette. And you can get a better look at them. This is that holo color. We've got that frosty purple glittery one. This is the blue toned kind of lilac-y soft. It's a little bit milky, 
<clears throat> not so much sheer but just kind of milky the neon pink you gotta love a neon pink and we've got that berry in the mini color which I think is just so cute the berry actually has a little bit of shimmer in it so to get started with this design I'm going in with blooming gel or spreading gel people call it different things I use mine from eye gel beauty and I'm doing two nails at a time if you've worked with blooming gel before the thing to note is that it will move the whole point of it is to kind of move and diffuse the colors you place on top of it so I figured using two at a time will be just good for me so I just took a square kind of brush flat square brush and I scooped up a different amount of colors um, and I am literally just dragging a diagonal zigzag across my nail and picking up colors as I see fit you'll see that I might stop from drawing I might pick up a different color if you're getting too much of the dark purple then go in with the lighter color I just want to make sure that we get a little bit of everything on the set you're gonna see me picking up different colors might get that light purple in there hopefully that's what I'm doing because we need a little bit more there you go you can see it on the tip of my brush so that's the thing about blooming gel it's super super pretty and all it does is diffuse your color so you get this kind of light wash the longer you keep it on top of the blooming gel without curing the more soft the colors are gonna go and they're gonna run so you see me cleaning my sidewalls before curing stick your hand in the lamp and then wherever you set it those designs will be down now I'm just gonna go in and do the same exact thing on the next two fingers I'll do the thumb separate just because it's in a different angle and I don't want to you know get a mess with the blooming gel but that's pretty much it blooming gel is so your friend if you're a beginner and designs are a little bit hard for you um, try playing around with blooming gel a lot of folks were doing the crocodile kind of design um, this past summer using blooming gel it was super super fun don't forget to subscribe and like this video share it with your friends leave a comment if you want um, but I wanted to just make sure I picked up all of the colors I think it's just super pretty that you can see the glitter from the holo and the light blue the dark blue I'm mean, dark blue the dark purple has its own kind of glitter in it so we're getting that frosty kind of Christmassy vibe but the hot pink and the berry colors kind of warm it up and make it a little bit different so I thought that this was a cool kind of design and you can see how the edges of the colors are just a little bit blurry that's definitely the effect that we want Check out how pretty and frosty this is looking. Gotta love the pink. You can see each of every color, a little bit of glitter, a little bit of dark purple, a little bit of that hot pink and a berry and the light blue. Love it. So to get into the holiday portion of this design, I am just going to take a thin liner striper brush that is a gel polish. I talk about them all the time on my channel. Definitely check out the description to see the links where you can get them for yourself. They are awesome. I promise you they are awesome. I am just drawing snowflakes and stars and twinkles and little dots with this one liner brush across the diagonal on every single nail. Um, it is pretty much the same snowflake. I feel like I draw the same two snowflakes over and over. I am just trying to fill in the space. Worst come, just throw, throw a whole bunch of dots on it. But this is not meant to be perfect. It's supposed to give you the hint of, you know, holiday and Christmas and winter. Um, we're going for a pink frosty vibe. So that's what the pink base was. I wanted it to be nice and soft in the background. And then we're just going to fill it in with twinkles and stars and snowflakes. So there's nothing really to say. Enjoy the rest and we'll see the final results.
Last step is to glossy top coat these nails. I knew I wanted some shiny, sparkly, glossy nails, so I'm just going in with some top coat, making sure to get it all the way around so that we're not exposing any of the blooming gel and the design underneath. And I'm going underneath the nails because they are semi-sheer based on that base color. Just so we can get that kind of glass effect, you can kind of see through these nails, which I also appreciate. It just makes it whispery and soft and frosty. I love that about the set. I'm gonna set, I'm gonna set, I'm gonna cure for one minute and this will be done. And here we are. Hopefully you love this set. Definitely let me know in the comments, like if you like, subscribe for more. Shout out to Madam Glam. Definitely check out that website to see what you can get for yourself for the holidays or even after. I will see you in the next one. Bye.